In this video, I wanna show you how to activate one of the Genesis child themes and then get it working with the Beaver Builder plugin. So here currently I have the Beaver Builder child theme installed from a previous lesson. And as we can see, it's working how we want it. So the content within the page stretches the complete width of the page. So the content that we've added into this page using Beaver Builder stretches the full width of the page. So from all the way over on the left to all the way over on the right. And that's the same all the way down the page if we go down. So the benefit of the Beaver Builder child theme and the Beaver Builder theme is that it works straight out of the box. Now let's go ahead and activate a Genesis child theme. So to do that, let's go back into our themes. So up here on the top, let's click on themes. And so there's the Genesis parent theme, but as always, you should always activate a child theme. And the child theme that I've chosen for this tutorial is the Agency Pro Genesis child theme. So let's go ahead and click activate to activate this child theme. So now that we've activated this Genesis child theme, let's go back to our page and see how it looks. So this is it with the Beaver Builder theme where the content in the page stretches edge to edge. And now that we've activated that Genesis child theme, let's refresh the page. So that's how it currently looks. So unlike the Beaver Builder theme, which works straight out of the box and the content area was from edge to edge, meaning that we could design pages using the Beaver Builder plugin full width straight out of the box, the Genesis themes and the Genesis child themes take a little bit more extra work because as you can see, they're currently confined to a box with a max width and some padding and some margins. So the first thing that we can do here is remove this sidebar. So this is default Genesis and to do that, we just click edit page. And then down the bottom, our default layout is currently set to this one here with the sidebar on the right. We can just select to make it a full width page and then click update. And then let's go back and view our page. So now that sidebar has been removed and the content area extends a little bit more across the page, but still it's at this fixed width. It's not going from edge to edge on our screen. Now there's two ways that we can overcome this. The first way is to write our own custom CSS either in our child theme or somewhere else using a plugin to remove the padding around this content area, remove the margin up here, and then remove this fixed width on the content area and make it 100% so it extends across our screen. But there's a second way to do it without writing any code, and this is probably the preferred way for people out there who don't know how to code, and it's by installing a plugin called Genesis Dam Buster. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's go back to our plugins menu by going to our dashboard, and then under plugins, clicking add new. And then let's search for Genesis Dam Buster. And it's the first one here, five star rating from 21 people, 6,000 active installs and last updated two months ago. So let's click install to install that. And then the activate button to activate that plugin. And then let's go ahead and view that page now and see what's happened. So it still looks the same, but that's okay because if we click on edit page up the top here to go back and edit this page, down the bottom, that Genesis Dam Buster plugin has added its own meta box. And the first checkbox here is enable tweaks. So if we check that and then click update and now view the page, this page is now full width. So the content area is full width, just like it was with the Beaver Builder theme and exactly how we want it because this is how we want to design our pages. We want the content that we add using Beaver Builder to go edge to edge. And we can confirm that by launching Beaver Builder to edit this page. And then adding a new row. And we could give it a background color. But already you can see the gray of this row is going edge to edge and that proves that we are designing in our content area, which is now full width. So let's just click done and publish those changes to get out of the Beaver Builder editor because there's a couple more things that I want to show you with this Genesis Dam Buster plugin. So up the top, you'll notice that there's no header. 
So there's no logo and there's no menu. And if we scroll down to the bottom, there's no footer. So everything that we see on this page is actually the content that is in the page using Beaver Builder. So we want to bring back our header and the footer that the Genesis theme inserts. And to do that, if we just click edit page to go back to the dashboard and edit this page, and then we scroll down the page, we can see that the enable tweaks box is checked. And then once that's checked, any settings that we add into these other tabs take effect. So even though these are checked currently, if we went back to enable and unchecked this and saved it, because enable tweaks is unchecked, all these other settings would not take effect. Now, because this is checked currently, we're not seeing the header and footer. And that's because if we come under header, it's remove header, yes. Remove the menu, yes. Remove secondary nav, yes, etc. So it's actually removing the header and same under footer, it's removing the footer and the footer widgets. Now, this would be great for a landing page where you're sending paid traffic here and you don't want them to actually see your header and footer because you want to keep them looking at a specific thing that, that you've directed your traffic towards. But generally, you are going to want to show your header and footer when you are building your pages. And so how this works with the Genesis Dam Buster plugin is these are page specific settings, but they default to the settings under Genesis Dam Buster. So let's click to go to the global settings for the Dam Buster plugin. So you can see by default, when that enable tweaks box is checked on the page, so on a per page basis, it forces the page full width, it removes the header and the navigations, and all these other things like removing the footer and the footer widgets. So what we're gonna do now is under header, we're gonna uncheck remove header, and uncheck remove navigation, and then on the footer tab, we're gonna uncheck the remove footer and the remove footer widgets. And we're gonna do this for all the other ones because right now, all that we're concerned with is making that page full width and that is already happening because under template width, full width page is checked. So that's the only checkbox we want right now. So now every checkbox under these is unchecked. So they're all gonna show, but all we're doing by default when we enable tweaks is we're gonna force the page full width. So let's save the changes and then let's create a new page. And let's just say this is our About Us page. And then let's click on Page Builder to launch the Beaver Builder Page Builder for this page. And then let's just choose one of these pre-built Beaver Builder templates. So let's just choose this one here. So I'll click. And again, a reminder that the Beaver Builder Page Builder only designs in the content area on the page. This is the sidebar, this is the content area. So that's our template. So we need to save this by clicking the done button and publish changes. And now we need to do two things. We need to remove the sidebar and then using the Genesis Dam Buster plugin, we're gonna enable that tweak setting, which is gonna force the page full width. So let's go back and click on edit page to edit this page in the dashboard. And let's scroll down and we're gonna select this template. So currently, again, our default layout in theme settings, if we open this in a new tab, we'll see the default layout is in fact this one with the sidebar on the right. So that's what's currently set. Let's set it to the full width. So that's gonna remove the sidebar over this side. And then we're gonna enable tweaks. And just to recap, that's what we just did. So under template width, that's enabled, but all these other ones are not checked anymore because of when we changed the settings under Genesis Dam Buster before. So we changed the global settings. So let's go up and click update page. And then let's click to view the about us page. And there you can see our page is full width. And there's two more things that I wanna show you guys. So we've got to this stage and you're probably thinking, what if I don't wanna have the page title that the Genesis child theme outputs on my page? I wanna remove that because I'm gonna add it using a heading module in Beaver Builder. Cause that's a common thing and you're probably going to want to do that. 
So that again is a feature in the Genesis Dam Buster plugin. So if we go back to our dashboard and then we go to Genesis Dam Buster and then above content, remove post title, let's click yes. And then let's save those changes. Now when we create a page, that will not be output. But a tip for this, if we look at the source code here, that is in fact a H1 item. So if we do go ahead and check this to not output that H1, when you do add a heading module to the page using Beaver Builder, make sure you do make it a H1, otherwise your SEO is gonna be jeopardized. So that setting in Dambuster takes care of the page title here. And the last thing that I wanna show you guys is in the dashboard, if we go back to Genesis theme settings, and we scroll down, you saw that before I showed you the default layout. So when you create a page, this is the default layout that that page will get, but not only for pages, posts, and all those sort of things. So if you know that every page on your website is not going to have the sidebar, including your blog posts and custom post types, you could come into here and make your default layout this full width layout with no sidebar, and then you could save changes. And now that we've selected both the option to not output the page title and this option to make the default layout the full width, let's create one more page. And I'll call this full width page, no page title. And we want to go down to here and we want to enable the tweaks. And again, from the Genesis Dam Buster global settings, it's going to force our pages full width. And it's not going to output our page title because it's removing the page title. So let's go ahead and launch Beaver Builder. And we'll select that same template. That loads into the page. Let's click done and publish changes. And there we go. And as you can see, we have our header at the top with our navigation. We have our content area, which is a page built using Beaver Builder, the page builder. And we have our footer down the bottom. So that's a complete page. So now when we create a new page, like we just did then for the last page, all we have to do is come down to the bottom, click that box to enable the tweaks, and then when we launch Beaver Builder, that page will be full width and the content that we build using Beaver Builder will stretch from edge to edge. So as you can see, using the Beaver Builder plugin inside a Genesis child theme is not as streamlined as using the Beaver Builder theme and the Beaver Builder child theme, which I did go through in a previous lesson in case you want to skip back and check that if you've jumped straight into this Genesis one. But with either this extra Genesis Dam Buster plugin and a few tweaks or writing your own custom CSS to force a page to a full width layout, you can in fact get your pages stretching full width to build full width pages using the Beaver Builder plugin. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.